Hello, welcome to this new tutorial. Um, this week we are looking at um, particles, or more importantly, what they're named in Cinema 4D is emitters. So they're emitting something, um, almost like a particle system and the particle world system within After Effects, um, but they're a little bit different within Cinema 4D. So today we are going to have a look at um, using 3D text as well and how we can get them to work with particle emitters and hopefully by the end of the session you um, have your own tasks to create your own uh, particle emitter text effect. Cool, lovely. So what I'm going to do first is we are going to go to MoGraph and we're going to go to MoText. So there we go, we've got a default text there. Um, I'm going to change this just to the first letter of my name, which is K. Lovely, and I'm going to change the type of text it is as well. I'm going to choose a nice bulky text. Uh, do, 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 do. Scroll up here, see what we've got. I'm looking for, there we go, aerial black's really good. Lovely, fantastic. And I'm just going to align this in the middle of my scene. Lovely, fantastic. And as you can see, um, it's not that thick, so I'm just going to change the depth to 40. Lovely, fantastic. Cool, right. So what we are going to do is we are going to make this shape opaque so you can't see it so it's going to be like transparent but it's still going to have colliders on it and a rigid body and what's going to happen is that the particle system will fill up um, this shape that it's opaque um, and create that shape through a particle system so it might sound a bit confusing me explaining it so it's a lot better if I just show you how I'm going to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the emitter into our scene. So we're going to go to simulate, click on simulate, go to particles, and we're going to click on emitter. So at the moment, if I scroll around, rotate around, and I press play, we can see the emitter is emitting particles just like we are used to seeing in um, After Effects with the particles um, effect system. Um, but we can see that they're facing the, ro the wrong way around. So what we need to do is we are going to rotate our emitter so make sure you clicked on it on the p by 90 degrees there we go fantastic lovely so when we press play now we can see that our particles there we go are shooting upwards that's the exact effect that we want brilliant lovely cool so next thing we're going to do is we can have a look at this emitter so at the moment the birth rate is at 10 it's quite slow so if we add 30 Perfect renderer, let's say 30 as well. And stop emission, let's stop around 200 particles. Cool, lovely. So I'm just going to line that there. Um, and also what we're going to do is make sure um, we can check show objects as well. So uh, the emitter will be able to show the objects it's emitting. So next thing we need to do is position this uh, emitter um, so it's going to put the particles into this shape. So what we're going to do, we're going to use our four-way view. And I'm going to go into my top view. And I'm going to scroll and put this here. And I'm going to scale this down just like that if we zoom in. Zoom in. Da, 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 da. That's looking good. Lovely, I might leave that in the middle there, just like that. So let's just see if that's in line or above our ground. That looks absolutely perfect. Lovely, cool. So next thing we're going to do is add a collider onto our text because we don't want the particles just jumping everywhere. We want to fill this empty, well, when we do make it empty, this um, empty letter to make it fill up with all the particles that it will then create the shape <coughs> of um, our letter K. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on our MoText. I'm going to right click on the MoText and go to Simulation Tags and add a Collider Body. So objects will collide with our MoText. Next thing we're going to do is that we're going to make sure we click on that Simulation Tag. We are going to go over to Collision. And we are going to make sure that we look at um, shape, shape, do, 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 do. And at the moment it says automatic. We're going to make sure that this is a static mesh. There we go. So it's not going to move anywhere. 
Um, it's not going to animate. It's simply going to be a, a simple shape. Okay. Um, then we're going to kind of almost repeat the process, but this time we're going to click on the emitter. Again, go over to simulation tags, and this time we're going to add a rigid body. So we're going to apply gravity to our particle, so they're not just going to keep bouncing off into the into the sky. So we're going to add a rigid body, and once we've done that, we're going to make sure that we click on that rigid body tag. Again, make sure we are under collision. This time under inherit tag, we're going to want to apply a tag to children. So um, we are going to tag a shape or any kind of shape into the emitter. We're going to use a sphere for this for workshop, and that's what's going to um, fill up our letter K. And then under individual elements, that's currently off. What we're going to do is click on that, and we're going to click on top level. Fantastic. Cool. Awesome. So next thing we can do is now um, we're going to use the traffic light system on our layers to turn off our Motex. So we're going to make sure they're both red like that. And once we've done that, we can go to our shape. So this is the shape that's now going to fill our empty opaque shape of our letter. So I'm going to choose a sphere. And at the moment, way too big. I'm not going to worry about the segments, but radius, I'm going to change that to around seven. So that's really, really small. And now I've got that sphere in my layers, I'm going to click and parent it, or make a child of it, with the emitter, as you can see here. So once we've done that, I should be able to press play, and oh, we've got some weird shapes going everywhere. There we go, that's a bit better. Lovely, but we can see that it's definitely starting to merge the shape K, but obviously our timeline isn't long enough because it's only playing for 90 frames. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down to 90 frames. We're going to change this to let's say, 250. Press enter, extend our timeline, and extend, drag that back. Press play, and this should form our letter K. There we go, as it starts to fill, lost some particles. There we go, just about. You could tell that was a letter K, I'm quite happy with that. So there we go, we can have lots of fun with particle emitters. What we could also do as well, if um, you're not quite happy with that, what we can do is if I turn back on my Motex, we can um, command and copy that emitter. So we then got two emitters. And what I'm going to do is if we go back to our views, I'm gonna drag this over to here. Make sure it's, oh, I can actually tell from here, I can use this side view or front view to line that up perfectly. I might actually put that right to the edge. Oh, there we go, right to the edge there, back into our main view. And this time I'm gonna rotate my emitter by, uh, I believe it's probably 275. Yep, that works perfectly. Let's have a look at this. If, whoa, there we go, upside down. Um, so we could drag that a little bit more into there. We could probably scale this a little better as well. Scale this down just a little, just a tad, and reposition that emitter again. I might just use my top view. There we go, right across to the end, not quite to the end. There we go, or just across a bit. And then let's have a look at this. Make sure we turn out the traffic light system on our Motex. Make sure they're both red. Press play, and there we go. We have our. <laughs> there we go. Can fully see that's the letter K through our particle system emitter. There we go. So your task is create your own name or create a word. Obviously, try not to be a rude word. Let's try to be professional. Um, and create that and add textures, add 
um, lighting to it and make it look really, really cool. Um, again, try and think about the world. How could this be created or manipulated within your world? Um, remember, this is a brand new world that you've never seen before. It could be crazy things like this that you see. So this would be really, really cool if we had uh, a manipulation or a version of this to see this in your brand new worlds. Lovely. Thank you very much. And I'll see you very, very soon.